off the press bar. Welcome to HGTV Live here from Stewart Field, 100 Central Boys Lacrosse one week after I uh, said hello to you guys last week here Thursday. This week it's 100 Central taking on, on Phillipsburg, I was about to say Somerville, they beat Somerville last time Brad who's to the left of me, number 16th they were in the state. Somerville, a huge win for Central. Last time I was here and I was with George, they lost to Rutgers Prep, it was a big upset. This one. Hope to avoid that. It's their first home game since, I believe. So, it'll be a big game for Central coming into this one. 3-3 three and three now. Seeds newly out for Hunter Moore and Sussex. Central will be the third seed. Currently ranked fifth in North Group 4. Have a chance to have a winning record for the first time this year. And it seems, George, uh, George Brad, it seems, Brad, that they've really hit form of late. Picking it up going into that Hunter Moore and Sussex tournament, which is in final set now for early May. Yeah, 100 and Central's look great right now. You know, like, they're on a two-game winning streak being Walchunk Hills and a great win against Somerville. You're definitely going to think that they're going to carry that momentum against a team like Phillipsburg. 1-8, 1-5 in Scotland Conference. It definitely should be able to capitalize on that. Yep, Phillipsburg conceding on average 14.8 goals per game this year. They've conceded 134 goals against Brad. That's the most in the conference. They're fourth out of the six teams in their division. Skyland, Raritan, Central, and Skyland, Delaware. They did, though, however, come off the win on Tuesday, just like Central, beating Montgomery 9-8. First time the whole year conceded less than 10 goals the whole year. So a uh, big result for them that day. Yeah, and you're going to want to think that Phillipsburg could maybe throw, we can upset get an upset win like this. You know, you don't want to count out a team like Phillipsburg. You, you know, they could be 1-8, yep. and eight, but upsets can happen. Especially after what we saw last Thursday a week ago, like I was saying. Sean Crater, number 31, in the face-off circle as usual. Notice he's wearing that one uh, band around his left shin. That's due to a nasty turf stain he has. They're very unappealing on the eye. And here we go with Crater. First face-off win behind the back towards McNally. Very loose, and that will be Phillipsburg possession for the state liners. That's Connor Johnson. Three goals, five assists for him on the year with seven ground balls. And Phillipsburg gets things going early. Central, good defensive performance last time, conceding four goals against a very good Somerville team. The opener was beautiful, Brad. I don't know if you saw that from Somerville. It was a behind-the-back finish from just near the crease hmm. from the Pioneers. But apart from that, Central looked pretty good defensively and were had some firepower going on the other side. You notice the bench is light currently for both teams. Yeah. That's because JV playing behind the Red Devils varsity team, so some of the usual JV members not there. As the state liners get things going, that is number five, Patrick Day, who had it, gets it again. 11, Aiden Renner, the senior, controlling things. It's Cormac Flanagan, number 23, Danny A. Moan to meet him. His brother, Jack Amon, recently named Sportsmanship Player of the Week at Rutgers. Having an excellent year there. Player that scored over 100 goals for the Red Devils in his time. And there's Patrick Kazmarek. Gets it into the Red Devils attacking zone with Jake DeVore. Great performance last time against Somerville. One goal, one assist for him. Man going to Kane University. Here's Crater. Starts early. Oh, Crater lost it a bit. A bit sloppy from him early on. Look to win it back. 
as the Liners take it with Aiden Renner. That's Connor Johnson, number seven again. Watch out for Renner, nine, nine goals for him on the year, 11 assists, leads the team in points. Number 21, Jimmy Donnelly, their leading goal scorer. He's on it right now. 12 and 6 for him on the year, 18 points. This is Renner again. Decker McNally in defense. Renner will spin and shoot. That's behind, stays with the state liners. Feel they may have a bit more confidence now, Brad, coming off that first win of the season. What that first win gives to you can be something very big. We saw something similar with the Red Devils struggling to get that first win once they got it really kicked into form. Yeah, you know, Phillipsburg taking two very early shots here. We could see possibly more of that central. It's got to make sure that they don't get any early goals. Certainly good defense from the Red Devils. Simons now in defense. Crater still back there in defensive mid roll. Oh, big hit there on Max Simons. It's Kazmarek who has it again. We'll pass it to John Flynn. Recently got the Hogs hat in the last game, which is a player with the most ground balls. Fair Ward, the Broadway hat as well. I believe for most points. It's Liam Mansell for Trevor Fish. A hat trick again last time out for him. He's having a really wonderful year. Nine goals, seven assists, 16 points. And his dad uh, often a big supporter of us and a big supporter of his son in HC Sports. Always here, whether it was from football or lacrosse, always tailgating as well. Here we go with Crater on that left side. He'll wind one up. That's a good save. And out of play, stays with the Red Devils. Logan Hummer looks a bit small in there, and that is because he's only a sophomore, 5'8", 150. And as the JV boys now entering the Red Devil bench. Inside, it's on the ground now. Fish can get it. Shoots, and an early score by Trevor Fish for his 10th of the year. Second Red Devil to reach double digits. Yeah, Trevor Fish, a great player for Hunter and Central this year. And to get an early goal this early in the game could be big for Central, hoping to keep that momentum and score even more. You see, Fish lost two players last year that were because of the depth and talent the team had, really played more of a defensive mid roll this year, giving the license to go forward, and they both produce. Fish now 10 goals, 7 assists. Of course, these stats, Brad, a bit difficult for us to read because, of course, they're on NJ.com, but. On top of that, the Red Devils had that one game rain out. So some of the stats are messed up. Danny lost seven and eight for him as well on the year. So 15 points, both of them doing brilliant. Of course, this man as well is just something else. Sean Crater now controls things for the Red Devils. Decker McNally for Griffin Meyer. Here's DeVore. They work around for loss. McNally back for it. Danny Loss. D'Lo, as I say. Two goals last time against Somerville. Goes to that left side. Also had two assists. Danny Loss will be playing at Ithaca University. DeVore. Oh, sorry. Fish, excuse me. Fish inside. Oh, great look. DeVore couldn't take it. Yeah, that was a great look there. That could have been a score, but just couldn't get it. Great work by Lost to chase it down. Scoops it up with one hand. Now he's an X. Crater will try to cut. Sets the screen now. Lost uses it. Inside, Meyer really couldn't miss. Beautiful work from the Red Devils. Seam splitting pass as well from Danny Loss. And Meyer... Adds to his two goals on the year. Yeah, that's two very early goals for Central with only six minutes and 50 seconds left in the first quarter. If they can add more in this first quarter, makes it get interesting. Definitely, and this was a a team that the Red Devils beat 17-1 to last year. They beat them four times successively. They beat them 63-17 to in those four games as Griffin Meyer gets the finish for the Red Devils. And Crater again. And Crater wins it. He felt very confident coming into this one about 
winning these faceoffs against Aiden Renner, the senior. McNally for Meyer. Now Fish and X. Two players exclusively almost operating there for the Red Devils are Fish and Meyer. Danny Loss. Now Mansell into the game for the Red Devils. Yet the score but has an assist on the year. Danny Laws will get to work. Goes to that right side. Great look. Mm. DeVore. Wow. Clinical as you like from Jake DeVore. Eighth goal for him on the year. Red Devils running right here. Three goals early on. Opening four minutes. Yeah, not a good start for Phillipsburg, obviously. They definitely got to get their stuff together or else this could get bad really soon. So the Red Devils making things look easy here, and it will be Crater versus Renner again. And ever since that sloppy start from the Red Devils and Crater himself, it's been smooth sailing ever since, and the floodgates appear to have opened. Here's Crater with it again. Here's Crater. Love to see him do this. Just so electric when he takes the face off and he just run with it. Let's that head of seem strong and quick. Very difficult to stop with his agility as well. And now Fish will get it for Danny Loss and McNally. McNally makes way for Mansell. Who's on it now? Fish. Fish does well. Oh, Meyer couldn't take it. Crater will chase it. Tried to put it in between the legs there, Crater, of Patrick Day. But it's the junior who comes away with it. Flynn drops into defensive cover with Amon and Kazimarek. Simon's on the ball. Oh, it's Cormac Flanagan. Passing it to back to Aiden Renner. A motto in the game now. Rolled along the floor. Interesting decision. Flynn will fight for it. Amon will retrieve it. And now it's Horn who can calm things down for the Red Devils. And offsides. Devore Fish unhappy. And it will stay with the state liners. So a bit of a break for them. Under five to go in the first quarter. And the state liners work it with Jimmy Donnelly. Inside, good look. Tell you what, not a bad chance there for the state liners, but the control wasn't required, wasn't, didn't have the required stickiness, I'll say, to warrant a shot. And instead, it's a motto the other way. Now DeVore. Fish, a motto, will sprint to the Red Devils' defensive half and get off the pitch for Crater. On the pitch now, Crater. Head of steam. He'll run. He'll go right. He'll shoot. It'll bounce up. End away, but we'll stay with the Red Devils. Yeah, Central taking a lot of shots, lending most of them. But, you know, they can keep letting them already. You know, it's already 3-0 in the first quarter. They can lend, like, two more. Things get real ugly. Here we go with DeVore. He'll spin. Loss. Fish. Oh, wow. Fish. Pick that one out. Trevor Fish. What a finish by the small fella. Red Devils, 4-0, lost, set him up, and Fish thundered that one in, didn't he, Brad? Yeah, you know, I already said if they, they can get two more, these get real ugly. There's one right there, you know, 4-0 in the first quarter already. Trevor Fish, just an incredible player for Central. And Phillipsburg just needs some momentum. They just need something to go for them as soon as possible. Reminds me a bit of Owen Bill, Trevor Fish, because Fish got the offer D3 to Wilkes, I believe. Owen Bill got the D1 offer to Monmouth and then got a D2 offer for lacrosse. Fish could probably play both in college. I mean, 
He's just an exceptional player. Crater flips it to McNally. Great strength from Decker McNally as he tries to run past Renner. And now it's Fish again. He's been in the goals lately. Two already today. Three against Somerville. Two assists as well. He's just almost a silent assassin type of fish. Small, don't see him, but he just does so much damage. And here he is again with Decker McNally. In between the hashes, McNally. Outside the hashes for loss. McNally again. Goes right. Shoots. Wide. DeVore was closest. And the Red Devils retain possession. 2.55 left to play. Here's DeVore. Screen from Crater. Worked very well last time. McNally shoots McNally. That's an excellent finish. Yeah, that just looked too easy for McNally. 5-0 lead now. Central just keeps adding all these goals and goals. They just keep adding to their score. And goals and goals and goals. 4-4 four, four. McNally. As I believe that was DeVore with the dime. For his ninth of the year. So the Red Devils into a very, very good position at the moment. And Crater still yet to lose a face-off. He went 9 for 15, 60% against Somerville. And last year against Phillipsburg, 14 for 16, 88%. Three goals as well last year against them. Flynn scored in that game, had a ground ball. DeVore Fish a goal and assist each. McNally, Simon's a ground ball as well, and Turnbull, Robbie Turnbull even played as a player that, for hockey we know he's a great attack player, a great forward, lacrosse more of a goalie, but can also play the attacking role, he had two assists that day as well. So a violation on Crater that time. Phillipsburg have it again. This is Patrick Day, works it for Rice, or Reese, excuse me, I should say. Reese will cut inside. Look for him in there. It's on the floor. It's Horn who eventually just will retain it. Take the air out of it. And now it's John Flynn. Long pass. Switching the point to Simons. Good look now from the Red Devils to break pressure with loss. DeVore. Crater working inside. Fish in my around X as Mantle's on it at the moment. Fish up against Day. Fish does well. DeVore on the floor. Ooh, couldn't quite scoop it. And the state liners get it across with Jacob Gorbs Burke. Yeah, it's going to be out of bounds. And Gorups Burke had one goal and three ground balls in the victory to Montgomery, 9-8 to eight on Tuesday. Renner had three and an assist that day with nine ground balls. 11 for 14, 79% on faceoffs. He's only won one here today. Oh, yeah, that's why he's up, because he's up against this man, Crater. Now for Mansell. Loss. Fish. Loss again. Here's D'Lo. And I'll shuffle towards the right side, or left side of the goal, rather. He'll shoot. Good save. Hummer on the floor. It's, oh, couldn't quite get forced in by Meyer. Instead, it's Fish. There's a wow. shot, and DeVore took that brilliantly for his brace. It's a great shot there, and now it's 6-0 in the first quarter. I mean, it's the same thing I said last time. Phil first just got to get something going. Maybe try to just get at least one goal just so they can get some momentum in them. Yep, certainly will be difficult to deal with. 22.1 left to play. It was a great finish by Creative for his ninth of the season. 
Not sure who passed. I don't know if you saw, bro. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Suspect fish, but not quite sure. As it's again, it's Renner Crater in the face-off circle. Crater again. Really working for it. Flynn's there as well. Flynn ends up controlling it. DeVore, ooh, it's a loose pass. It was around the vicinity of Fish and Mantle. Flynn, brilliant tenacity there to get the ground ball for the Red Devils. Control possession, 7.3 left to play. And that will do it for the first quarter. So the Red Devils with a commanding lead so far to start. Brad, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, my thoughts were it was all Central. You know, Central just completely dominated Phillipsburg in that first half. Phillipsburg pretty much getting no offensive time at all. You know, they did a little at the start, but then, you know, towards the middle and the end, it was all Central scoring six goals. You know, maybe coach of the Phillipsburg has got to talk something with them, maybe try to set up some plays for some goals because looking at it right now, it is all Hunter and Central. Yep, that coach is Sean C. Rosa. Mm -hmm. And it's just been a tough year for Phillipsburg. Like we said, they lost eight in a row before beating Montgomery on Tuesday. And it's a team that has not had good good results against Central. Like we said, they've lost them four times in a row. And only four times they've played, losing on aggregate 63-17. And last year, 17-1 on April 26. Crater, three goals. Like we said, 14-16, 88% of faceoffs. Flynn scored with a ground ball. Fish and Devora go on assist each. Turnbull had the two assists. And they even got the JV boys and McNally Simons with one ground ball each. They'll probably get them in here today again. That's what it's looking like for the Red Devils. And as for Phillips Big in their last game, Donnelly, three goals, one assist. Haven't got him going. Haven't gotten Reese going and had his goal and assist. Day. Could maybe try him at face-off spread. He's went 3 for 4 last time, 75%. Also had a goal and two ground balls. And like I said, Gorps and Burke, a goal and three ground balls. Johnson, who started off well, a s one assist, two ground balls, not good. Haven't, oh, haven't really gotten him involved either. And Hummer had eight saves, really hasn't had too many, and eight goals against. Could be worse for him here in the second quarter with another 12 on the clock. But we'll see what this second quarter brings. Uh, it's an average of 15 and three quarters of a goal they've let in when playing against the Red Devils, Phillipsburg. So Crater again against Renner. And this time it's Renner who, ooh, maybe spoke soon, nearly got it. And it's Crater eventually with the ground ball. Here he goes with that head of steam. Good look, DeVore, fish, turn, shoot. Oh, no, oh, wow. Meyer, wow. That was a great play. Faked everyone, fish, cocked it back instead, gave it to Meyer for his brace. Yeah, fish to Meyer, what a play, and what a goal to start off the second quarter. 7-0 lead now, three more goals, and they're in double digits. Just a dominant performance so far for the Red Devils. Yep, Fish, gotta love the unselfish play to set up Griffin Meyer, who now has four Fish with eight assist tangles, 18 points on the year. I mean, he faked me out certainly, Brad. Yeah. Had me stumbling. Face off again. I say Crater went early. He's very disappointed. Crater often does get involved with the referees. Cormac Flanagan. And Phillips Frick moving it well now. There's Reese. 
Caliente tries to work on Amon. Great work from Kazmarek and Amon. Now it's Horn. Simons. Horn. Flynn. Oh, lost. Couldn't make it stay. Now it's a fight for it. Violation Phillipsburg will stay with the Red Devils. With Danny Loss, who gets no, wastes no time getting things going. DeVore. Meyer. DeVore pops out and will control. Loss. Goes right. Mansell. Meyer. DeVore again. Curry is sending a lot of screens today. He'll roll. Haven't really needed credit too much today. I believe he doesn't even have the single point yet, Brad. It's been the other players really picking up the load, starting with Fish and DeVore. Yeah, I mean, and if Sean Crater can get hot, that's just even better for 100 Central to add more goals. It's just been his presence that's really worrying. The state line is, oh, loss. That's a very tidy finish from Danny Loss. His eighth of the year. I mean, the score just speaks for itself at this point. 8-0, Red Devils. Not much you can say. It's just been a bit too easy for the Red Devils to work it past the state liners in their defensive half. All right, it's Crater again. Crater will attempt to pry this one free. Oh, McNally tries to flip it to himself. And it's Flynn who recovers it with DeVore. McNally. Meyer. You see as Crater switches the stick. So I always was wondering why he did that. Maybe if he had a special face-off stick. He says just because the stick is... Just a bit messed up from the face-off. Likes to get a fresh new one. Certainly makes sense. Here's Danny Loss. Crater. Ooh, good avenue for him. He'll spin. Goes the other way now. Passes it for DeVore. Tried to flip it low. Took a hit as well. Hummer able to make the save. Ooh, nearly gave it away. Can the state liners break lines? Flynn couldn't take it out of there. It's on the floor. It's Mai who gets it. Away from Girl Spieberg. Now it's Fish. Fish on that far side. And a line of four in front of Mansell. Fish finds McNally. Thought about it, won't tee it. Loss. Fish. Good protection by from Fish. Here's McNally. Fish again. McNally goes left. Loss. Fish chases it. Make sure it stays with the possession of the Red Devils. Trevor Fish against Day. Nearly losing it to Sean Snyder. Instead, it's Decker McNally. Or Mike Volkowski, I should say. Excuse me, here's McNally. Ooh, lost. Good grab. And McNally now will make way for Crater. And he 
he's getting a lot of contact man sell. Crater, good grab with one arm. Crater will go to work. Goes left. Hit hard. Spins. Finds Mansell. Shot was deflected, I believe. And stoppage for substitution as Fish was ready to get things going. Some laundry on the field. And Fish will drop it for Crater. Here's Meyer and Loss. Mansell, DeVore, Meyer. Or Crater, now Meyer. Loss again. Mansell. Here's DeVore. Loss. Good look for Meyer. Fish back to him. Mansell cuts and said it's loss. Crater for DeVore. Back again. Phillips are becoming very compact. Oh, no, look. Ooh. Lovely feed by Crater. Yeah. Just being a playmaker today. Yeah, you know, Crater may not have any goals, but he's definitely, you can definitely feel his presence for sure. Loss. Good save. Difficult when it's low at the feet. That's Hummer who will take this one up. And that's a great take by Renner. He can beat Loss and Amon. Gets a screen. Loss tries to get him from behind Renner. Oh, excuse me, Danny Loss. Oh, Danny Amon, I should say. Commonly referred to as DA. Flanagan now feeding Johnson. Not attempted, I think, a shot at all. The state liners this quarter. Under five and a half to go. Then work it again. Flanagan. For Donnelly. Dolly near, nearly lost it. Big hit by Amato. He's trying to pry it away. And it stays with the state liners. Good work from Luke Gilletta to chase it down. And there's a flag on the floor as it was Simons who I believe hit Renner as he attempted that shot. And it looks like Simons will serve a penalty and Phillips Rigg will stay man up for the time being. This, you feel, Brad, could be their chance. Yeah, I mean, this could be one of their only chances, especially in this half. They At this point, they just need, like, at least one goal. Just to maybe try to get some momentum and come back into this game. Renner. For Reese. Back to Reese. From John Donnelly. Donnelly couldn't control it from the runner pass. Amon has been very tenacious this game. That was Flanagan. It's all the way up. Can Kazmarek get it? He can. Oh, very loose. Renner. Wow. Renner scores. Punishes Patrick Kazmarek for his loose pass and cuts the lead 8-1. And you know, they only have one goal, but you never know. Phillipsburg, maybe this is the momentum switch that they needed, and maybe they can come back into this game now. Still got a long way to go, have it being 8-1. You never know. Renner with his 10th on the year.
and the refs in deep conversation it appears Brad yeah what they're talking about here And now they have Coach Vergolito involved. Look at Coach Ross as well. Sean V. Renner again, 4 or 8 left to play in this second quarter, in this first half. And Crater is the one that comes up with it. DeVore. Fort McNally. Loss, big head of steam, big shot, it's above the goal. You can hear Vergolito directing his team, directing his subs. Here's McNally versus Day. Difference you feel of Phillipsburg is a lot of their main boys playing the whole game. The Red Devils can give their attacking mids a break, Brad, and then bring the defensive ones in. Loss, McNally. Loss again. DeVore. Good screen from McNally. DeVore. DeVore goes left. There is loss. Hummer save. They say white ball because red stick in the crease, Brad. Yep. Fish. Fish for Crater. Good feet from Crater. Good work from it. Oh, and he goes again on day. Crater shot. Just why common theme of the last game we did here where he was had some great work, great skill, Crater, but just couldn't find the back of a net as frequently enough, especially for the amount of shots he took. Meyer gets a bit lucky, stays with the Red Devils and Jake DeVore. DeVore goes right. Protects it very well. Oh good look, Fish, wow. uh, yet another hat trick for the little man, Trevor Fish. Get 11 goals now, DeVore gets his 10th assist. Yeah, Trevor Fish has been something else this game. And now it's 9-1, to one, one goal away from double digits, and it's only the second quarter. Just a dominant performance for 100 in Central so far. Dominant indeed. 228 left to go. 9-1 already. And at this rate, the Red Devils can look at maybe resting the varsity boys, or the main ones at least, in this next half. Of course, good to get everyone in. Get camaraderie high. Especially, like we say, Brad, 101 Sussex coming up, trying to defend their championship. <laughs> and this time, Crater dove for it, nearly lost it. Now it's on the floor with Flynn, who evades Crater. Flynn, who scored last year against Phillipsburg, gives it now to Decker McNally. And here's Fish. 
So the team the Red Devils beat last year in the 100 more in Sussex, Pope John is the one seed, Del Val the two seed, Central the three seed. Here's Crater. Final will be May 13th at Sparta. Meyer, good look inside Fish, he's done it again. Meyer that time with the Mutant Eyes Flies vision to set him up for his fourth assist. And Fish gets his 12th. It's absolute dominance from Trevor Fish, two goals in a row. Now a 10 to one lead for the Red Devils. So preliminary round on the 29th. First round, May 2nd, quarterfinals, May 6th, semis, May 9th, and then the final, May 13th at Sparta. Often host a lot of finals there at Sparta. Pope John, like we said, the one team, the Team Central beat last year. Would love to pick up great momentum into that tournament. As Crater goes again, 136 to go. It is double digits now. Flynn, he just goes thin so easily to help Crater. Good screen from Mansell. Here's Crater. Crater got hooked. Goes on. Good look, Flynn. Back-to-back -back years in succession. Flynn gets himself a goal. As Crater took a major hit from it and now takes the helmet off to breathe. 11 to 1, just... That's all really to say at this point right now, Tyler. Yep, and I believe that will be an assist as well for Crater. As Flynn, the defenseman, got up there and finished it very, very well. 117 to go. Under that 120 mark now. Crater versus Runner again. Crater just goes full throttle every play. Flynn, that's beautiful. DeVore. McNally was making a good run. Flynn will get back to his home base for loss. DeVore feeds Danny Loss. Decker. To Danny. D'Lo goes right. Now gives it back to McNally. And as him and Divorce switch roles. Switch positions rather. Lost Divorce. And they work around again. Very patient from the Red Devils. Want to hold for the last shot probably. 24 to go. And it looks like Danny Loss will tee it. He'll go left. DeVore! Good save, Hummer. DeVore pries it away. Is there one more opportunity? Eight seconds. Here's Danny Loss. He'll shoot. Took a big deflection over the nets, over the fence, into outfield of the, the JV baseball field. And four seconds to go in this half. Big sling up the field. And that will do it for this first half. Stay tuned for second half action. So back here for start of second half action. Brad was walking over to uh, go to the bathroom like I always do every half time by the away team and the co the message from Coach Rosa to his state liners team is was very disappointed in the lack of effort and not too concerned with the score but wants to win this half. So there's no reason why they can't win this half. 
but looks out looks like to start this one it will be Crater still and the main dogs out there for the Red Devils. Yeah, it looks like they're maybe trying to secure this win until they bring in some more people and you know Sean Crater, you know, his presence has been made on the field tonight. Would love the goal and would love to get it to the twelve goal lead, get the running clock going. Ryan Crater tried to flip it along. Now he gets it. DeVore gives it back to him. It's Renner eventually who takes control. We'll try to run McNally. Ooh, beautifully done. Renner again. Very well done. Spins. Goes all the way. Wow. wow. Aiden Renner. That is exquisite. Yeah, that was a great play by Renner there. You know, 11 2 now. Philsburg has two goals. That can change the momentum maybe for Phil Swift perhaps and keep him going. Uh, that's class of the highest order for Maiden Runner there. The way he can just run, turn McNally inside out. Go with the swim move over his head. Spin one way, spin the other. Shoot quickly and accurately and powerfully into the back of the net. Beautifully done. And like you said, claws one back within nine. Can he win the faceoff now against Sean Crater? We will see. And Crater flips it back to himself. Swim move there to evade Connor Hill. Flynn, big effort to get back to the offensive half. DeVore for Crater. Loss. Crater. DeVore, Fish, Meyer for Mansell, Loss, Mansell, again, oh, my excuse me, Fish, Crater, Loss, Meyer, good game today from Meyer with two goals, Doubles his tally, four an assist as well. Eight points for him on the year. Crater could do with a goal. Does have the assist, however. Loss goes in, goes back, goes left, finds Devore. Good look, Fish. Already has a hat trick. Fish Crater. Another thing Russell wanted was a better performance from his goalie Hummer. He's only a sophomore there. He wants him to play with a bit more confidence, give the team some saves. Tr when you have the ability to trust your goalie, Brad, it does make a big difference. Meyer, Fish, DeVore behind the back. And needed at that time to be resourceful. Gorofsby Burke. Look to tee it up. Now goes over and goes in from Grobsby Burke there to give from the senior gives the Phillips Frig the lead here in the second half as Coach Russell wanted. Yeah. Could it happen? Still a long, long way away. Yeah, at eleven to three now, you know, Phil Spurg getting two goals in a row. Perhaps they can get more and make this a bit interesting. Yeah, you know, maybe the lack of energy and effort Coach Russell wanted came from the fact that players like Day and Renner just going straight from the face-off to offense, straight to defense, no, no rest, can't let up. Does really take a, do a toll, especially with those huge hits. And full start, Renner again. Fakes it, goes left, shoots it. Very lucky off the heartbreak. break. I'll tell you what, Coach Vergolito looks very disappointed on that far side. Red Devils just about retain it with McNally. Simons now. Horn for Flynn. 
Flynn for Horn back again. Simons, they work it round. Simons will run. Now look long, not accurately, in the end for DeVore. DeVore goes right. Gets in front of his defender. Cuts back. Fish stood well to take it. Finds Crater. Crater. Mantle and DeVore inside. Crater. Good look. Fish. Wow. That is a seam splitting pass and exquisite vision from Crater. As Fish couldn't miss, couldn't he? Yeah, I mean, Fish was right there. Pretty easy goal for him. Great pass by Sean Crater, like you said. 12-3 game now for Central. Maybe Central looking to get red hot once again. Fish, 13 goals now. He's got his fourth now today. Crater with his second dime. 20 points now for him on the year. Fish, 21 points now. Go along with those eight assists. Crater and has this ability from the face-off circle. Can he win it again? And again, it struggled a bit. Another false start. Lancaster coming in to help the Red Devils defend. Gorovsky Burke up there. Now Grosby Burke will get away. Allow Reese to get into the attacking half. Renner. Renner on it now. McNally the defender. There's a shot there. It's a save from the Donnelly shot. The sophomore struggled to get going. Six foot two oh five. Has many goals on the year, 12 to be exact, but today hasn't been his day. Mansell will find Meyer for McNally. Had the lane, didn't shoot though. Said it's Sean Crater, McNally again. Look to get loss involved. And Decker will make way for Danny. D'Lo in. Kazmarek as well. Here's D'Lo on it now. Crater's post on that left side. It's Meyer. That's a beautiful finish from Meyer. Just rolled it calmly in the back of the net. Now a 10 point lead for the Red Devils here with 7 minutes and 14 seconds left in the third. Meyer scoring from Danny Loss's 10th assist of the year. His 18th point. Let's go, Sosa. Sosa. Will Rodriguez Sosa in the game now for the Red Devils. Crater in the face off circle. Crater wins it. Crater goes. Pass was difficult for DeVore to handle. And he does well to flip the fish. Lovely from DeVore. Meyer. It's a beautiful finish. Remember that last one? Brad just rolled it ferociously into the corner. It's difficult for the goalie when you put it low like that. Crater will switch sticks and come back in. Loss. Meyer. Loss again. Fish. DeVore. Quick, accurate, precise, and lethal from the Red Devils. Now make it 14 3 Red Devils. DeVore gets his 10th goal on the year from the Fish assist. A 
It's been a big point day for the Red Devils. 14-3, remember. Phillipsburg averaged 14.8 goals conceded on the year. The ball's dropped for Crater and Renner. Crater does brilliantly. Finds DeVore. It's probably in shoot. Now it's Fish. McNally rattles the back of the net. Decker McNally gets it from Fish. Now a 12 point lead for the Red Devils. So six minutes and one second left in the second 15 3. Tenth assist for Fish. First Red Devil to get. Oh, well, excuse me, second Red Devil. Devorah's 10 and 10. Fish 12 and 10. Or 13 and 10, excuse me, 23 points. McNally gets his fifth goal. Six seconds left to play. Crater, he's been on fire after a couple false starts. Gets hit heavy. There's a flag. Hit on the floor. He just keeps going. Wow, Crater. Lovely from Crater. Man on a mission, Crater. Goes high. Crater just walks through the Phillipsburg bench there. Tell about Renner who hit Crater on the ground there like that. That's a bit, a bit mean. And now Red Devils man up. Here's DeVore for Crater. Big task for the Phillipsburg State Liners to keep the Red Devils out. Here's Meyer. And it was a similar theme to the first half. Red Devils started off slow but picked it up. And now in complete control. Up 12. It's a running clock. Fish. Crater. Crater nestles it in the corner. Didn't even come out of the net. Great play by Sean Crater there. Now it's 16 3. And now Crater will get make way to scoring his 15th. Getting his 21st point. Surprised, really, I haven't subbed bringing bringing some more of the younger players. It is Horn now out of the game. As I say that, Eddie Shin in net for the Red Devils, a very capable goalie as a junior. Renner. And that one's behind. And there it is with Donnelly. Hasn't really gotten going, Jimmy Donnelly. Renner. Reese Flanagan. Griffin Meyer has no 
It's Amon who fights with Kazmarek. A skirmish for the bowl. Can Amon get it? Gets hit. Tim only attacking half with DeVore, McNally, Fish, Meyer, and Mansell. And Moan running off now. Will allow Loss to get up. And now it's Meyer who finds DeVore. Fish. Been really. Would you say he's man of the match today? Would you say he's man of the match, uh, Brad, with the four goals and. Now three assists. Yeah. It's been in great form. Had three and three last or three and two against Somerville. The Red Devils on this two game winning streak looks to make it three after beating Watchung Hills eleven seven before that. After remember losing their first two games same year. They won states when they lost their first two. Three out of their last five they've been victorious in. It's the only fourth in the Skyland Delaware. There were five teams in there. Look to climb the ranks. Here's Fish. DeVore. Loss. Loss goes left. Fish. Can he make it six? You bet he can. Wow, this man, Trevor Fish from Danny Loss's path for his 14th on the year. It is no rest as the floodgates continue to pour. Yeah, Trevor Fish been absolutely outstanding. Now a 17 to three lead with just over a minute left in the third. And no crater, crater on the faceoff now. It's Kazmarek instead of Crater. See the three, but it's 3-2, three, not 3-1. Three, Kazmarek with the long stick. Beaten out by Renner. Plays three sports, Brad. He's an extremely smart man as well, Kazmarek. Renner. Renner went behind the back. Shin read it. Instead, it's Amon. Great speed from him. Covers a lot of yards. Here's DeVore. Here's Meyer. And just, wow, rolls it in like he did for his last one. Meyer gets his fourth on the day. Sixth for him. And that's going to do it at the end of the third. 18-3 lead for the Devils. Eighteen three last year it was seventeen one. Remember, so already beat that. <laughs> Certainly, and Phillipsburg ahead of their fourteen point eight average goals conceded on the year. It's been a rough day for them, but for the Red Devils, a lot of players getting involved and a lot of great attacking play we've seen. Yeah, you know, Phillipsburg got those two goals in the third quarter. Maybe thought he could get some momentum, but. Ever since then, Central's just been red hot. 18-3 lead. Not much you can say about that. Certainly, like you said, up 15 going into this fourth quarter. Could get worse for the State Liners. Sarkasmeric back to the face-off circle. This time it's against Patrick Day. The two Patricks going against each other. And now you see some of the 
Some less familiar faces, Mateo Brito out there, Jesse Foster. Nate Quintin Quintiniac, I should say. Quintiniac, Brito, Foster, the defenseman. It's Ethan Washington, Mansell. And Nicholas Terracone up there. McNally still out there. Two flags. And Ben Gratelli, Joe Duffy out there now for the Red Devils as well. And it's Gratelli for the talented sophomore Ethan Washington. Lefty as well. McNally. Gratelli for Ewash. Terry Cone. His name is actually cut off, I believe. Nick Tara Cohen, yep. It was Ethan Washington. Mansell again. Duffy's in there now. It's Cretelli again. McNally protects it well for Ethan Washington. Tara Cohen. Very compact defensive shape now from Phillipsburg. Do not want to concede again. Washington. <laughs> McNally again. Sosa in now. Excellent football player as well. Sosa. For Duffy. Washington. And these players already played in one game. Right. Back at it again. Mansell. Duffy did well to reach it. Looks like Turnbull's getting ready. Fish fire shots at him. Long possession here. Another minute ticks by. Sosa goes. Sosa shoots. Oh, great finish from Will Sosa. 19 to 3 now, Central. Just adding on to their lead at this point. That's an excellent goal from him. The bench can't quite believe it. Wow, that's beautifully done. State liners with Gorsi Burke Renner. Brito comes up with it. Remember his brother Sal Brito on the state winning team. Now playing football at Ithaca. Foster. Duffy. Brito. Whistle as Sosa tried to control. Said state liners possession. Kuitniak back in. The 
Foster shepherding well. Sits back with Patrick Day. Shot behind stays with the state liners. Under eight to go. Red Devil timeout. Brad, interested to get your thoughts on what we've seen so far. Yeah, I mean, Central's just been, once again, just dominating this fourth quarter, you know. The backup team coming in, playing pretty well. So, you like to see that. You like to see the younger guys get in and play well in a varsity-type game. Phillips, Phillipsburg, you know, can't really get anything to go. At this point, they're just trying to get anything. Yeah, certainly the Red Devils been in great control, 19-3. 16 points last year. Won by the same margin, 16. Had to check it, Brad. Yeah. So what, the 11's really throwing me off. For the Red Devils to keep thinking Trevor Fish, but we don't have all the numbers on this roster, so forgive us if we get some wrong or don't know any. The Red Devils going deep into the rotation now. And the state liners start with in an X with Donnelly. Day on it now. Day pass inside, and that's a goal. Finally for Jimmy Donnelly. Yeah, good goal by Donnelly. I'm sure Phillipsburg, you know, at least happy that they got one more goal. Yeah. Yep, got four goals. This is 13th on the year, Donnelly. At this point, I'd take anything at this point. Yeah, at least a personal mark, if anything, for him. Face off again. Renner will win it now. Day. That's number 25, Devin Marrero, who's been taking the face offs for the Red Devils. Also, a great football player, Brad. Good friend of mine as well. Went to the gym with him a bunch of times. That's great. Spins. Foster will shepherd well. He's been a player that's kind of been on the brink, been playing a little bit here and there for varsity. Still primarily JV. Humble, good save now in the game. Now Red, Red Devils will control possession from the far side. State liners coming back the other way. 
Oh, inside, behind the back, good save, Turnbull. And maybe crease violation. They say no, instead it's a goal from, that is, I believe, yep, that is Connor Johnson. Yeah, that's two goals now for Phillipsburg in a row, you know. Like I said, at this point, just trying to get anything, so it's good they got that goal back. Fourth of the year for him. As uh, freshman number four, 34, Troy Artega now in for the Red Devils. Marrero in the face-off circle. That's oh, right, that's Johnny Valencia, I should say, instead for the Red Devils, not Artega. And it's Marrero's first year playing lacrosse already on the varsity stage. Big step up for him, like I said, mainly a football player. Jonathan Valencia, Calderon. In there for the Red Devils. <coughs> Shot saved by Turnbull. Marrero tried to chase it instead of state liners possession. Turnbull's dad also coaches hockey and lacrosse. Of course, Turnbull plays both as well. Krinsniak defending well against Donley. There's a spin. Marrero defended it well. And it's high and wide, nearing a two minute mark. Donley combining with Johnson. There's a shot, took a deflection, I believe, and that's behind as well. Next, it's Montgomery for the Red Devils on Saturday at 10 a.m. And then next Thursday here, it's North Hunter in again. It'll be a big matchup. They don't play many games really compared to other sports, but that means everyone they play is that more important. I believe a timeout was just called. The clock just stops. I don't know who called it. Starving, I am, bro. Yeah, same. <laughs> One oh eight left to go. Nineteen five now. The Red Devils look just to close this one out here.
So Ethan Washington gets things going. Maybe one final attack for the Red Devils. He stretches his legs. Does that very quick as a quick runner. He wash. Played football and basketball his freshman year. This year it's all lacrosse for him. He's still on it, killing clock. Was a big hit. Final ten to go. Shot, good save. Turnbull gets it away immediately, and the Red Devils will improve to four and three on the year as they defeat the state liners 19-5. Thank you so much for joining us, and. We'll be happy to join us next time. Have a great evening.